Hi, my name is Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. I am so glad to have you here. Today we are doing another project pan intro video. When I announced that I was going to be doing a project pans this year, I said I was going to be doing two and I never really specified which two and you guys would have recently saw that I decided to do a pan that eyeshadow palette with the Too Faced Sweet Peach eyeshadow palette. And, and now I've also decided to do a second project pan and this one is going to be a pan that polish. So I'm going to be selecting some nail polishes to carry with me throughout the entirety of the year in the hopes of finishing them up completely. I want them gone. I want them out of my collection. So if that sounds good to you, then we're going to go ahead and get into it. Just keep on watching. Now to start things off, how this is really going to work for me is I have selected two polishes in my collection or out of my collection. They're like two really old polishes. I've had them probably since I was in high school and I tested them out a little bit last month and the formula is just like starting to get really goopy and it's getting hard to like paint all my nails and stuff and you guys know I paint my nails a lot. so. If it's unusable, then it's there's no point in me keeping it in my collection. So I recently saw that Christina Chang is also doing a Pan That Palette. I know she's doing it in collaboration with someone, but off the top of my head, I don't necessarily remember who she's doing it with, but I will link them down in the description box because I feel like they may have been the ones who kind of started this Pan That Polish. And I'm, I think I'm going to follow kind of along the same kind of guidelines as she did. Now for my polishes, I am going to be keeping track of like how many times I use them. And a use for me is whether I just paint one nail or I use it to paint my whole hand. I'm not going to be too meticulous with my data tracking. I am going to keep tallies of every time I use it. And I also have marked the bottles and I'm also going to be taking pictures as well. And when I talk about them, I will insert pictures up on the screen so you guys can get a kind of a better look maybe, maybe a different angle so you can see better of the progress. So let me go ahead and show you these polishes. Both of the polishes are purples. This first polish is from LA Colors. It is called Splendid. And if you see right here at the top, that is where we're at with this polish. It is almost brand new. I may have used it like a handful of times before like the past month. And the same goes for the second polish. This one is called Purple Delight. And if you see this mark right here, we are also very close to the top of this bottle as well. Now I'm not wearing them today. I decided to have like a last hurrah picking whatever before we got into this. But I really think that picking both of these, I'll be able to use them in conjunction with one another and I'll be able to get more use out of them faster by like putting this down and then this on top. That's my game plan with them. And like I said, I did test these out a little bit last month, so I can tell you this formula, super cheap, chips like crazy, so I feel like I'm gonna run through it a lot, just repainting nails as they chip, because that's something I tend to do if I'm keeping like that color polish for any long period of time. I plan to do my updates for this pan that polish probably about every two months. So probably within the first week of the month, probably after I do my pan that palette update, I'll come on and I'll do a pan that polish update for you guys with some updated markings hopefully and some new pictures that hopefully show a lot of good use on these polishes. So like I said, every two months, so it's January, we won't get an update in February, but we can expect one in the first part of March. So if you haven't subscribed to me yet, I highly recommend that you do. That way you don't miss updates on this project and you can keep along with our progress here in our little check-ins. Now I think I've covered all the bases in this introduction. If you guys are interested in any of the stuff that I have on my face, I did just do an eyeshadow tutorial on the Pat McGrath 
Midnight Sun eyeshadow palette. It took me a second. Midnight Sun from Pat McGrath. I just picked it up. It's my newest mothership. I did a little first impression with it creating this look and I will also have all of the products listed down below for your convenience as well. So thank you so much for stopping by and checking out my video and spending time with me chatting about some nail polishes and my plans to crush these babies. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.